Episode 31 of the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide covers the basics of weapon and armor mods. Most of the focus of this video will cover those that have problematic installations. Then we'll also get into weapon and armor fixes remade, clothing and clutter fixes, and complete crafting overhaul remade. The guide is reaching its end, but we're going to squeeze in as much as possible. So, this is a long one. Hey guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. Welcome back to the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide. The rapidly wrapping up 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide because we all know things are changing. But I want to go through a video about weapon and armors. So, you know, overall, they're pretty easy. And this video is going to be broken up into two things. The basic installation, covering some mods that are problematic because the vast majority of them are actually pretty easy at this point if you're experienced modders. And this is episode, what, 31? You should all be experienced modders at this point. So I wouldn't worry too much about installation on the vast majority of things. But we'll just go ahead and go into Mod Organizer and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. This is a mostly complete load order for Dirty Weasel. There is another one for an upcoming Let's Play. But I want to just kind of show you a couple things. If you go over to Filter and you look at some of my armor mods, and there's a few of them here. You know, I've got, this is actually a replacer. I wouldn't worry about this. This is a replacer. But you can see I have a few, and I, there's a lot more out there that you can go get, but the vast majority of them are very easy to install. If you go down to items, you can see there's, you know, Unique Uniques, Jace's Swords I've installed, and a few other things. But that's kind of what we're talking about. Clothing, items, armors, that sort of thing are pretty easy to install. I don't have a lot of them, but you really don't need a bunch. So let's go on to the Nexus, and I'm going to show you a few mods that you can get and a few things I always recommend. And the first one's always Immersive Armors, mod number 19733, done by Hot Trooper 44. It's pretty much on my essential list. Immersive Weapons is the same thing. Some people don't like Immersive Weapons, but I do. And of course, it is mod number 27644, done by Hot Trooper 44. These are two of my essentials, but there's a ton more out there. I'm just going to close those downs, and we're going to get to the problematic ones. Things that I've installed that I thought, you know what, I need to give some special instructions on. And the first one we got is Bandolier Bags and Patches by Drag10, very popular mod, mod number 16438. And it lets you install bags, bandoliers, all sorts of goodies that you improve the look of your character, make them more adventuresome and like he's got a bunch of gear on him and it actually will improve the weight if you so choose. So this is a very good mod, but it is slightly problematic on how to install it. So when you come down, you can read all this stuff, but I'm just going to kind of show you the, the files that you need to get. We're going to go through this very quickly and you can see Bandolier Bags and Pouches, the Bandolier Mod version 1.2, possibly final, and it is final. You can download that with Manager. And if you want to have a tight to your mail bare body, there is an optional file for that. Download that to your desktop and just drop it into your download tab over here and it will, you know, have available for you to install. It's basically just a, a mesh thing for bare naked bodies on males. So this is an optional file. So there's that one. Jace's Swords is another problematic one. And there is a lot of instructions on this one. But basically, you're going to go through and get a couple of files. It is a very popular mod. Let me just go ahead and back this up. Mod 1002, done by Jasus. It's been around for a long, long time, but it, it has a lot of issues. So what you're going to need on this one, Jasus Swords, is you're going to need the main one, the version 13C. And then you're also going to need the update for version 13C to 13D update. You're going to download both of those with Manager. So with Jace's Swords, there is special instructions on this. And what you're going to need is Charlotte Cran's compatibility patches. And this is going to provide an ESP replacer for Jace's Swords to make it work correctly because the ESP from Jace's is bad. Okay, I'll get into all this explanation later on, but I want to explain what Charlotte Cran's compatibility patches does. It provides patches for a bunch of things, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. And this description will tell you all about it. And I'll also talk about Rybash, but 
you know, we'll get into Rye Mash in a later episode when we start wrapping things up for a final load order. And right at the top, it says Jace's Swords by Jace's. Arthur not accepting PMs at this time because he's disappeared. You need to get the updated version to version 14. We just did that. And it updated both Jace's Swords ESM and the Jace's Swords distribution balance plugin.esp. It also attempts to resolve some crafting issues. But basically, this is what we're going to do is install this patch to replace the ESPs that are bad for Jace's Swords. And if you scroll down, it's quite far down. This is in alphabetic order, so you need to scroll all the way down. And there it is, Jace's Swords Compatibility Patch. Download that with Manager. The next one we're going to cover is Cloaks of Skyrim by Noodles. And it's mod number 12092. And you see it's version 1.2. Very popular mod. Been around for a long time. And it's, it's on my essential list. It really is because it is so good and it works so well with different things. There is some installation instructions on this, but we'll go over that with you on how to install from Mod Organizer, and you can see all that it does. When you come over to the file section, you're going to see the main file, Cloaks of Skyrim. You're going to need to download that with Manager. You're also going to need Cloaks of Skyrim Dawn Guard Edition. Download that with Manager as well. Now, we're going to get into all these things later. I'm just running through them very quickly so you know what we're doing. And then the final one we're going to do is Winter is Coming Cloaks. This adds furry weapon or furry cloaks furry hoods and whatnot with armor options. And it works very, very well with Cloaks of Skyrim. So, you know, there is a patch for it, but we'll show you that right now. But you can see all the description on this. Always make sure you read your descriptions, guys. So, just so you know. Mod number 13486, done by Noodles and Nivea. Nivea. And we'll just go ahead and scroll down and take a look at the files. You need to get probably one of these, but I'm just gonna go ahead and download that manager. Winter is coming cloaks, Nexus mod manager version, and it will install correctly. You don't need to manually install this, just ignore this, okay? Download that with manager. This video will be separated into two sections. We'll be covering all the mods we just covered, how to install them basically, and just get through it all. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about weapon armor fixes remade, clothing color fixes, and crafting, complete crafting overhaul. So we'll come back to this. This is a totally separate set of installation instructions, but I wanted to get through the basics first. So you can see my downloads tab is quite cluttered with stuff, and there's not much to talk about with some of these. I mean, like Immersive Armors has a faux mod. And it's fairly, you can, you can have one, but there really is only one option. That's to install the UNP support. Of course, we're using WSCO, or if you use another body replacer such as UNP, you definitely need to click that. And it will change the meshes and textures for the armors to kind of accommodate some of the armors in the game to make them more appealing for women. You could try it with CBBE, and it might change a lot of the armors to work with that body style, but it's not going to match. It'll just make the body look a little bit better. Just remember that. It's not really changing all of them. It doesn't have all of options, but UNP will change the body shape for a lot of the armors in the game. But we're just going to cancel that out because that one's kind of unique. Immersive weapons, I mean, it's just a simple manual install and you've got some readme.txt, BSA, XP. And most weapon armor mods are going to be that same way. You can just go ahead, click them, manually install them, look at the different options. But we're going to talk about the more complicated ones. The things that I kind of, when I installed them, I said, this needs special instructions. I made a note to come back and do this. So the first one we're going to do is bandolier bags and pouches. Of course, that was back over here. This is bandolier bag and patches right there. We will go ahead and install that and just show you some of the options of what's going on. When you double click to install, and you click manual, you're going to right click and set data. And what you're going to see here is an ESP. And you may think, oh, it looks good. That looks great. But wait. When you open up the optional files, you will see default, lower weight, and no enchantment. And what's going on here, these are different ESPs that are added to the game as optional ESPs if you install them. Now, you don't really know which one is which, right? So you, I think it's probably better to go ahead and just know what you're going to get ahead of time and deactivate the ones you don't want. So in my case, I went, I said, this is default, this is the default ESP, it's the same as this. 
why it has optional files, but that's the way it is. Okay, we don't need two defaults, so we can get rid of that. Lower weight, this will decrease the weight capacity increase for the different bags, pouches, bandoliers, all these different things, and it will lower it down. Make that choice. I'm just going to go ahead and unselect it. I'm fine with the way it is. And then you have the ability to no enchant, and you're going to see, you know, if you don't want to be able to enchant the bags and pouches in the game, if you want to just have no enchantment. It's an immersion thing, I know, but you make your choice. And you can go ahead and unselect it. Now all you're left with now, now when you look at it is meshes, scripts, textures, and Dr. Bandelier, ia.esp. I would go ahead and click OK at this point, but I'm going to cancel because I already have installed. So you see I've switched over to my filtering view so I can kind of make it a little easier when you install this. I'm going to get double click to install. You're going to see something here when I did this. When you go to optional ESPs, there's only one ESP because we turned them all off. But I wanted you to see where this was for future reference. There is an optional ESP and you can turn it on and off as required. If you're just playing a normal game without Waffer or CCOR, this is how it would be set up. But I wanted you to see those different things. And the reason why I mentioned that is if you install all those optional ESPs, it's just going to show you drbandelier.esp and you won't know which is which. Okay, that's why we did it the way we did it. I'm going to go ahead and close that down. Now, Cloaks of Skyrim. Double click to install. Manual. And you, once again, you're going to see a cloaks.esp and cloaks optional. Open this up. And you're going to be presented with some more options. Obviously, we don't need the text. We can just unselect that. And what you've got is a Cloaks No Imperial ESP, Cloaks Player Only ESP. So this one's basically saying that no Imperials will have Cloaks in the game and only Player Only will have Cloaks in the game. And then there's a Cloaks ESP. But you notice that the ESPs are named differently. So in this case, I would go ahead and leave these active and press OK. So go ahead and... I'm just going to press cancel and we'll show you the next step. Cloaks of Skyrim Dark Guard Edition, double click to install. You would go ahead and click manual. And once again, you're going to have cloaks optional and you see the same sort of thing. We don't need the text, the readme.txt, but you see the same sort of thing. No imperials, player only, and then the base.esp. Now, when you go ahead and do this, and you go ahead and click OK, it's going to ask you if you want to merge or replace because it has the same name as Cloaks of Skyrim. Go ahead and merge that in into the original mod Cloaks of Skyrim. And we'll get back to that. I'm going to click Cancel because I don't want to merge all this stuff in again. So go ahead and cancel that out. Now when you open up your mod for Cloaks of Skyrim, double click it, and you're going to see all these things. And they're all going to be down here. So what you have is if you want to have just the base one where everybody gets cloaks and everybody, you know, can wear them and all that stuff, you'll have these two down here. If you decide that you want no Imperial, you're going to have to move these up, right? Move these up and move the no Imperials down, right? So this is a paired set. The same thing goes with the player only. This is a paired set. So these two ESPs will run together. In my case, I don't want those. I want everybody to have nice little cloaks and to be running around. And cloaks.esp, yes, and I want the dongard.esp. So this is the paired set. So everybody gets cloaks in the game. Everybody gets cloaks, Imperials, NPCs, everybody. So I'm going to close that down. We are now going to... Clean this up a little bit so I have a little more chance to look at things. The next one we're going to cover is Winter is Coming Cloaks. It's this one right here. It's kind of confusing when you look at this. You have Winter is Coming Cloaks, Nexus Mod Manager. This is the one we installed. So when you double click on this one, you'll get a faux mod. And it's a pretty smart faux mod that you have different options. You have the main plugin that shows items placed out throughout the game on NPCs, vendors, and crafting. It will help with your load or your level list. We're going to talk about level lists in a different episode, but for right now, these are different options. You can have a craft only where no one gets the winter is coming cloaks. You can craft it only for yourself. So consider this a player only option. 
And then you have one for no guards plugin. NPCs will have them and vendors will have everything, but no guards will have a furry cloak. I'm going to go ahead and install the main plugin and you click next. And then you've got the main cloaks patch. This is an optional patch for cloaks of Skyrim. Only use if you have cloaks of Skyrim mod. This patch edits the level list and outfits to play nicely with each other. You need this patch even if you make a bash patch. I'm going to click yes. And then there's one for no Imperial cloaks. And you're going to go ahead and install. Now that we have that, we open it up and you'll take a look at the ESPs. Now you have the winter is coming cloaks.esp and you have a patch for sky cloaks ESP. I wanted to be able to show you what's going on. There's two mods there. So we got everything we need right there because we installed options for guards and everybody to have them. Everybody's going to have them and it's going to have the correct patch. So we're going to switch over to weapons because it's a lot easier for me to see sometimes. Where is it? At? Where is it? At? Items. And you can see Jasus. We're going to cover Jasus right now. I'm going to clean this up again. Hang on. I'm just going to refresh our memories of where we are. We have Jasus Swords. And then we have Charlotte Grand's compatibility patch. Charlotte Grand's compatibility patch is what we're talking about here. So we downloaded all those mods in the previous part of the video. Let's install them. So the first thing we've got is version C. When you double click to install manual, there are instructions on this. The readme.txt we do not need. The BSA we do need, but the ESM we don't. And the reason why we're doing that is because we are going to be installing the patches from Charlecran to replace the ESM. But we still need all the assets, in other words, the textures and meshes that are required for Jason Swords in the BSA. So just remember that. That's what we're doing, is so that you're unselecting the ESM and putting in, unselecting the readme.txt, but only installing the BSA. I'm going to click cancel, but I want you to click OK. Now, we need to update that from version C to version D. Double click to install manual and you're going to see once again you've got a readme.txt we do not need we have a readme.txt we do not need and then we have an esm and a distribution balance plugin esp this was originally intended that if you installed this upgrade to replace the esm and you now get a balance plugin esp for the level list but once again the only thing we need on this are the meshes and textures that upgrade it. So you would go ahead and unselect the ESM, unselect the ESP, but you would install the meshes and textures. And when you click OK, it's going to ask you to merge it in to this mod, to the Jace's sword. I'm not going to do that because I've already done the work ahead of time. So when now when you open this up, you'll see some optional stuff, but I went ahead and just deselected it, but the better way of doing it is to go ahead and have these as optionals. So that's where we are. Okay, step number two. I had to update my uh my filter because I realized Charlotte Krenz was not in the in the categories page. I had to add it to the weapons. So that's why it's it wasn't there originally. But now it is. So here's what we're going to do. Remember Charlotte Krenz patch? It is right here. This is the Jace's Swords compatibility patch created by Charlotte Cran. When you double click to install this, you're going to see Charlotte Cran's compatibility patches. You're going to click manual. And now you can see you have Jace's Swords ESM that we removed. And we have the Jace's Distribution Balance Plugin.esp. Now you know why we removed those old ESM and ESPs because we're getting brand new ones. You, if you want some load screens that has the Jason swords and the load screens, you can add this ESP. I think it's extraneous. I'm just, I just removed it. So in this case, you have a couple options. You could either put it into Jason swords by renaming this file path for the name of the mod. But I think for this case, the way we're doing this, because we might come back and install Waffer and CCOR later on, I'm going to leave this as Charlotte Cran's compatibility patches, just so you don't get confused on what everything is. So you go and click OK. 
So now that you've got that, you just remember Jace of Swords has no ESPs active, but Charlotte Crayons does. Jace of Swords ESM and Jace of Distribution Balance plugin. You see what's happening here? Jace of Swords, we removed the optional ESPs, but we've replaced them with Charlotte Crayons. That's kind of one of the reasons why I left them available for you to see in Jace's Swords so you know exactly what's going on. So when you close that and you go to your plugins, I'm going to have to go try and find these things. Let me just do a name. Jace's Swords.esm and the Distribution Balance Plugin.esp. So that's exactly what happened there. So that's the basics of what's happening is that now that you have a BSA, for Jace's Swords, if I can go down and scroll down and find it here, you need to make sure it is activated in your Manage Archives. Okay, Mod Organizer needs to manage this. The first time I installed this, it didn't install the BSA. Just so you know. Sometimes BSAs don't always get activated, right? So you have plugins, you have Jace's Swords.esm, you have the Jason Source distribution plugin that's provided by Charlotte Crown's compatibility patches. Got it? We're good. Now, when you go into the game, you're going to have everything that you want, and you're going to be able to play with all the mods and have fun with it and have these items. And most of the time, these weapon and armor mods are very easy to install, but these are ones that I, I knew would be problematic I wanted to point out to you. So I'm going to step back, I'm going to reset everything, and we're going to talk about Waffer, clothing clutter fixes, and complete crafting overhaul remade. Stand by. Okay, now we're going to talk about weapon and armor fixes, clothing and clutter fixes, and complete crafting overhaul remade. And let's go to the internet and we'll take a look at the first one. So... Weapon and Armor Fix Remade by Cryptor mod number 34093. What this mod does is basically correct many of the bugs in the vanilla weapon armor records, improves consistency and balances between different items. Weapon armors will scale in a predictable and consistent manner, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing, is that this really needs to be in a package of mods because by itself, yes, it is helpful, but... It really needs to be used with clothing and clutter fixes and complete crafting overhaul remade. Smithing perks overhaul remade is an optional. When you look at these three things, just remember that the other mods that we're going to cover right now will reference back to this. So just so you know, and this is the recommended load order. It's pretty consistent through all of them. So this is a good thing to remember is your recommended load order if you have this. So like the one the ESP is contained in Weapon Armor Fix Remade is Weapon Armor True Weapons Level List.esp. This should be at the very bottom of your load order, just so you remember that note. The next one we're going to talk about is Clothing Clutter Fixes by Cryptor. It is another bug fix. It's primarily devised or designed to work with and complement Waffer. So once again, it's a bunch of little fixes and it requires that you have weapon and armor fixes remade as strongly recommended, but it's technically not required, but I, I would say it is, okay? Just so you're consistent with all these things. Now, the last one we're going to talk about is probably the biggest one, and it is Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade by Cryptor again. 49791 is its mod number, and this completely overhauls a lot of different things all vanilla and DLC recipes have reworked for greater consistency, lore friendly design to enhance the vanilla crafting system. So basically it's adding a bunch of new things to the system to allow you to, you know, change the way you craft. Break down recipes for weapons and armors, be smelted in ingots, missing recipes and items, uh, unique level lists for different things, a ton of different things. But secondarily, it adds items into the game, such as this section right here. Winter is coming, Cloaks of Skyrim, Bandolier's Bags and Pouches, Jace's Swords, and Jewelcraft have been fully integrated, reducing the need for additional plugins and offering new customization options. That's what we're talking about, is that 
That's why I covered those mods before that were kind of problematic at installation because I knew it would be coming this. The only option, the only caveat to that is Jewelcraft is fully integrated and you don't need to download the or original mod for that because all the textures and meshes are already in there. It's fully integrated. So just remember, Winter is Coming, Cloaks of Skyrim, Bandoliers, Bags and Pouches, and Jace of Swords are all in there for ESP replacers, but you still need the assets from the mods to make them work. Understood? Got it, because it took me a while to wrap my head around this. So that's what we're talking about. We'll go through and show you the downloads you need for each of them, now that we've talked about them. For Waffer, Waffer, you have Weapon Armor Fixes Remade. There's only one file to download. Download that with Manager. Clothing Clutter Fixes, you have the main file. Download that with Manager. If you have the Legendary Edition or you have all the different DLCs, this is separate vanilla and DLC files. Don't even worry about that. When you scroll down, you will see a patch. CCF compatibility patch for interesting NPCs. It alters the outfits used by these four NPCs so they are consistent with the changes made by clothing clutter fixes. If you're using ESPs or if you're using interest in EMPs, I would suggest getting this, but it's probably not recommend, you know, not needed. But just keep that in mind because you need to have this patch in the correct load order to make it work with interesting NPCs. And then you have different ones. One here for realistic needs and diseases, RS children, and e ought W mage robes. So these are all different things. Know what you're getting and decide if you need them. You don't need this. You don't. You really don't. But it just makes it more consistent for immersion purposes. I left it out in my testing and interesting NPCs operate just fine. You don't need it. This file right here, clothing, clutter fixes, download that with manager. Complete crafting overhaul remade. When you go to the files, you have the main file. Download that with manager. Then you have a CCO compatibility patch for weapon armor fixes, true weapons. There is an ESP in there called weapon armor, true weapons, level list.esp. This file replaces this ESP provided by Waffer. And there's special notes here about when you build your bash patch, you need to build your bash patch. While batch will merge this file into a bash patch, meaning that it won't actually take up additional slot. That's if you're using a bash patch, and you should be. After creating your bash patch, you can disable this plugin, but leave the disabled file in your load order. So in other words, leave CCOR enabled in the game, but don't have the ESP activated because it will merge into the bash patch. That's the only option on this. I'll show you how that works in just a second. So let's go install these things. So the first one we need to do, and we need to install these in order, is weapon armor fixes remade. You can see I have them activated and are installed but deactivated. Weapon armor fixes remade. Double click to install. You're going to get a faux mod. Of course, everyone's using Legendary because you, if you don't have Legendary, you can't get Special Edition, right? So Skyrim Legendary, install all options or customize options. Let's just go through the customized options so you need to see what you're getting. Go click Next. And these are all the different ESPs that we're talking about, all the different things that's changing. So you have options on True Orcish Weapons, True Daedric Weapons, and True Orcish and Daedric Weapons. It makes changes to the Dragon Mass Priest for their... You know, their stats and keywords will match and be better for balance. You have faster arrows and bolts that will increase the speed by 50%. Dark Brotherhood max fix and better fitting glass helmet meshes. And the reason why we have this on here is because it will change the meshes for uh, improved closed face helmets. So just so you know what you're getting on this, I'm going to go back and you would go ahead, just so you know what you got, I would just go ahead and install all options. Okay, and click next. And then you go through and you have a Midian Born Skyforge Weapons patch. It is an ESP replacer. Once again, another ESP replacer. An Immersive Weapons. This is a patch. You can see it is installing a Waffer patch for Immersive Weapons. And improves 
closed face helmets. Once again, it is an ESP replacer. Just so you know what you're getting. If you're using close, improved closed face helmets, you'll need to go through and remove that ESP, but I will show that to you. And you go and click next and in the readme file if you want the readme in there, but you don't need to. I would install at this point. I'm going to cancel it out and show you what you end up with. Weapon armor fix is remade. You have optional ESPs. You can see all the ones that you have here. A Midian Skyforge weapons. Improved helm legendary. This is improved close face helmets. You have weapon armor fix remade. You have the true weapons level list and you have the immersive weapons patch. So in this case, leave them all active. If you are going to use Skyforge weapons, and that is something we installed way back in an earlier episode, but if you have that, and I do, you would activate that and then go through and deactivate the one in a Midian Born, if I can find it. Optional ESPs, a Midian Born Skyforge weapons. You would move that up to deactivate it because you now have the ESP replacer provided by Waffer. I'm going to move that back down. The same thing goes with improved close face helmets. You notice that ESP? Imp Helm Legendary. Same thing goes with that. Move it up if you're using Waffer. I'm going to move it down because I need it. So those are the two ESP replacers for Waffer is that you need to go through and remove those or deactivate them in the two of the optional ESPs. Weapon armor fixes remade is done. We will now go ahead and install clothing clear fixes. We'll click manual and you have meshes, readme's, you don't need to read me, you have scripts, textures, and clothing clear fixes ESP. Fairly simple, not a lot going on there. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel. And when you open that up, I did it again. Clothing clear fixes ESP, not a problem. Go ahead and close that down. So let's move on to the very last one, and that is Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade. Double click to install. Manual. You have a lot more stuff here to take a look at. And you have interface, and you don't need to know about this. Meshes, scripts, textures. Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade. This has all the ESPs for Jasus, Bandoliers, Cloaks of Skyrim and Winter is Coming all rolled into one big fat ESP. Just so you know what you're getting on this, we're going to, you'd go ahead and click OK. I'm going to click Cancel. And then the second one you need to do is the CCO Waffer True Weapons Patch Manual. You see it's going to load it into Complete Craft and Overhaul Remade. I would definitely leave that as it is. But as you can see, it now has renamed that ESP to Complete Crafting True Weapons Level List.ESP. Go ahead and click OK. I've already installed that. I'm going to click Cancel. When you look at it, go to your ESPs. You can see you have Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade. That has all the ESPs rolled into it for all the mods we talked about. And you have Complete Crafting True Weapons Level List.ESP. Now what this means is when you close this down and open up Weapon Armor Fixes Remade, go to the ESP, the True Weapon Level List, you need to move that up. Because... Even though it's a different name, the one provided by Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade is replacing the true weapon leveled list. So you know what's going on. Okay, I'm going to move that down. Actually, I need to move that up. Okay, move it up. Because we have, in this scenario, we have Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade installed. Okay, close that down so you know what you're getting. When you activate these and you look at them, you can see why the order is very important. Because you have this one being overwritten by that one, being overwritten by that one. So it's, you can see how it actually works now that model organizer is updated. You can see the correct order for overwrites. Weapon armor fix remade on top, clothing clutter fixes, and then complete crafting overhaul remade. On plugins, you have them all right down here. Now, this is a leftover from what we should have done we should have activated the Winter is Coming Skyrim Clothes patch. My mistake. I forgot that that wouldn't be activated because we merged it into the original Winter is Coming. I'm going to go ahead and activate that. So here are your five different ones you have. So Weapon Armor Fixes Remade, Weapon Armor Fixes Immersive Weapons Patch, Clothing Clutter Fixes, and Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade. 
and the true weapons level list. So this is where you need to go back and refer to the level list suggestions provided by Waffer. You can see that for the most part, these top three need to be at the top. And then the weapon armor, true weapons level list should be at the very bottom of your load order. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to group these together to make it a little easier to move them around. I'm going to highlight them all. And we're going to slide them up. Come on, slide way up high. Because of the, the nature that it's overriding so many different things, I want this to load pretty quickly on. And I'm going to drop it right about there. Not perfect, but it's up high. So then you have down here, you have the weapon armor fixes level list and the immersive weapons patch. You can put the patch anywhere as long as it's after immersive weapons, which will be anywhere. You got that. And then the winter's coming Skyrim's cloak patch. Move that up for right now and then just get it out of the way. And then complete crafting true weapons level list per the instructions, need to be at the very bottom of your load order. So, huh, I mean, this is, a, this is really confusing sometimes. So, Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade contains the ESPs for Winter is Coming, Cloaks, Skyrim Cloaks, Bandoliers, and Jaces. What does that mean? We're going to add our filter again. Okay, clothing. So, you have bad deliers, bags, and pouches. Being that the ESP from Complete Crafting Overhaul Remade replaces that ESP, you don't need this one. You can move it up. Close it. Close the Skyrim. Optional ESPs. You can move all these up because you don't need it. But you won't have the options from CCOR for these things. In other words, CCOR, everyone gets the pat, everyone gets the cloaks. You know what you're getting. And Winter's Coming Cloaks, optional ESPs, you can move these up as well. I'm screwing up my load order for my Plutz play, but that's right, I'll have to fix it all later. And close it. So for Jace's items, Jace's swords, optional ESPs, once again, move them up to optional. Okay, just make sure they're up to optional so that, you know, because we have an ESP replacer, and then the Charlotte Crens compatibility patches, optional, move these up. So because CCR has them all already in place. And we can go ahead and close that down. But I'm going to put them back down because I need them. Okay, so we have basically the setup. You're going to see a missing master here, and I'll talk about that later on. If you have inconsequential NPCs, you'll need to go back. And I talked about the different options for the enhancement pack. I'm not using the enhancement pack provided by CCOR in my Let's Play, and I'm just using the base pack. That's why it's showing a Missy Master because it is different. You can see it's Missy Master. Winter is Coming Cloaks. It's because we eliminated it on Winter is Coming. Just so you know, that's what that arrow is about. So let loot run things and kind of move them around as needed, but you notice that most of these other ones provided, like bandoliers, bags, and weapons, are gone. The Jace's stuff, the ESM, is gone. But you do have weapon armor, clo weapon armor fixes, clothing clutter fixes, and complete crafting overhaul remade. These are locked down for a reason. But you get the point. That's how you make it to work. You still need to go through and double check that you have all your BSAs activated in there. And we will go through in the game and we'll take a look at what we've got. So here we are in game where you have Fiona looking very sharp in a new outfit, but I can't, I don't know what happened to Lydia. Anyways, anyways, it doesn't really matter because we got stuff to talk about. So there is an MCM for this you saw him pop up and we'll go take a look at mod configuration menu and complete crafting overhaul does have its own MCM. When you go through and look at it, you have a bunch of different options for the crafting different things. Scroll down, you have crafting options. Learning in XP, to, this is all about, you know, changes to the way you craft. Mining the materials, you can change the firewood drops. The mining things, you can change all this different stuff. And I'll let you read the mod about different things. Miscellaneous balances, 
Mod options, I'll come back to those different things. So down guard, craft down guard items at any forge. You can craft them throughout Skyrim. If you want to change it down guard only, you could. Here's the big thing I want you to look take a look at this. So you can change the level list in these different things. For right now, Jace's Swords is not active because I, I messed up my installation, but this would normally be activated. If you want to have the different display crafting recipes for jewel craft, bandoliers, bags, and pouches, this will enable bandoliers, bags, and pouches. Important, you must install any mesh textures. Yeah, we know we got that. Yes, activate the mod. Cloaks of Skyrim is going to ask you the same thing. Activate the mod. And which was coming, yes, activate the mod. Jasus would normally be there because the way I installed it, because I forgot to deactivate the ESPs, the original ESP, it's grayed out for right now. But you can go ahead and distribute in the level list as well as the crafting list. I'm going to use add item menu to take a look. If you installed this all correctly, if you go into add item menu, complete crafting overhaul remade, just go to part one. In your weapons, all of these are added by Jace's swords. If you see the meshes, if you see this image, that means it was installed correctly because the BSA from Jace's is still there. Same thing goes with the capes and whatnot. Let's just pull this up. Here, oh, by the way, here's all the bags, bandulous bag and pouch. Same thing. If you can see them in the menu, you can see them in the game. And then the, like the cloaks, the cape of Talos. And all these different things you have the furry capes or down here somewhere there you go some furry capes so you know winter's coming was installed correctly so if you want to look there's fiona's cape so you know it works correctly right if you can't see it go back and check all your bsas and make sure they're installed correctly make sure the mods for ccr that accompany it bandolers bag and pouches winter's coming and close to skyrim are all installed <gasps> It's a long episode, a lot of stuff to cover, but that just gives you a base rundown on this stuff. Most weapon and armor mods are very easy to install. These are the problematic ones, and these are the ones I get the most questions about. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy one of the final episodes of the 2016 Skyrim modding game. We're going to continue wrapping things up here very soon with another episode. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet, but another one's coming soon because we're running out of time. My name's Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.